All right, hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to measure the cost of the traditional light bulb, the incandescent light bulb, versus the cost of the compact fluorescence, which you hear abbreviated CFLs, as well as the LEDs, which of course means light emitting diode. Um, the three types of bulbs have different beginning prices. In other words, the price that you pay to buy the bulb itself and then they have different costs associated with running those bulbs. So what I've done here is a side-by-side -side comparison. Anything in yellow is a um, variable. So the energy cost is the first thing you need to set up and that's the energy cost that you pay uh, through your uh, power company. For me, I've set that at 11 cents per kilowatt hour. The, I'll set that to currency hours of use per day. So that's just on average about how many hours do you burn um, an average bulb. And then how many bulbs are we talking about here? Right now I've got it set to two. Let's set it to 10. All right, those are variables that you can just go in and type over. Now let's set up the three options uh, for bulbs. You have incandescent bulbs. I've got those set at about 25 cents each to purchase. Compact fluorescent CFLs are about 75 cents and a good LED bulb is about $4. Um, then of course it'll just multiply um, those by how many bulbs we said we were going to uh, buy. In this case we said it was 10. The hours of life per bulb. Uh, the LEDs and CFLs will usually have um, ratings on the side of the box. If you get a cheaper one, the nice thing about a, uh, an LED bulb is it'll typically tell you on the side of the box what that bulb is rated for. You might be able to find an LED bulb for as little as two or three dollars. It's just rated for less time. Um, so that's nice that they do put that rating on the side of the box. I'm going to assume a 50,000 hour rating here for an LED, 8,000 for CFL, and 1,200 for incandescent. Again, you can change these. If it's in yellow, it's a variable. That's going to divide out the, um, the total bulb cost per hour and the years of life per bulb um, and the physical bulb cost in a yearly basis based on how long we think it'll last. And, um, and then also you have an opportunity here to add in the energy wattage. Um, what, what is that bulb rated for as far as the amount of wattage that it's going to draw? Um, one thing that you'll probably notice on CFL and LED bulbs is they'll, they'll have a much lower wattage. It'll be something like 11 watts or 5 or 6 watts, but then they'll tell you a number of lumens or they'll tell you this is equivalent to a traditional 60, 75, 100 watt bulb just so that you know about how bright it is because most people don't know, oh, my typical you know bulb is, is 800 lumens. Um, but that helps you um, understand the difference and get something that's comparable. Then what the spreadsheet's going to do here is it's going to calculate if you have, remember we have this set now to 10 of these bulbs, um, it would cost um, about 1,095 kilowatt hours per year to run these 10 incandescents. It would cost 237 kilowatt hours to run these CFLs or 109 kilowatt hours to run these LEDs. And then we put those in actual dollar terms um, on, on a yearly basis uh, right below it. So what we're able to do now is when we add in the energy cost of the bulb and we um, take the, the cost of purchasing the bulb and we divide that out over its lifespan, we can get a yearly cost of bulbs right down here. And again, the more you have and the more that you use your bulbs, um, then, then obviously the more you're going to save by switching to a lower energy consumption bulb. The cost of the bulb is almost insignificant when you look at the energy difference. I mean, an incandescent bulb, if you have 10 of them in your home, you're, you're throwing away about $100 or a little more than $100 a year just on energy usage uh, because you're drawing so much more wattage through those bulbs. Not to mention you're putting a lot of heat in your home, whereas if it's summer, probably not um, something you want to do because then you're having to spend more to cool your home back off. Now, if we look at that um, on a year-by-year uh, -year basis, it looks like this. And if we do a running total, it looks like this. So after, let's call it five years, this is just 10 bulbs. And believe me, I bet you have a lot more than 10 bulbs in your house. You would have spent $600 on incandescents, only $100 on LEDs. So 500 over five years um, is your savings. 
Now, I, I went around and did a quick um, assessment in my house. When you count all of the bulbs that are, you know, maybe in a um, over your kitchen table, over your countertops, in your dining room, um, in individual bedrooms, I bet you'll come up, depending on the size of your house, with, with maybe 25 or 30 bulbs. Let's do 25 um, here, and let's see what that does, a running total. So in five years, I would have spent $1,500 powering incandescents, 344 powering CFLs, and only 250 powering LEDs. That is astounding. Um, that that's real money savings um, that you can get uh, by switching to CFLs or LEDs. I personally like LEDs a little bit better. Um, they um, a lot of times are made out of plastic, so if you drop them, and I have dropped them before, they don't shatter. CFLs are really easy to break, and they're filled with with um, some gas that you probably don't want to breathe. Um, and uh, CFLs take a little while to heat up, so that first minute or two when you turn them on, they, they kind of have a softer glow about them until they come up to full brightness. LEDs um, don't have that concern, and a lot of times also LEDs are dimmable, whereas usually CFLs um, are not. So that's my preference for LEDs, but uh, CFLs save a lot of energy as well, and this is a way that you can do that calculation, uh, put in real dollars, taking those wattage numbers, and putting it in real terms for how much you can save by switching uh, to one of these two uh, energy saving technologies. So that's my spreadsheet. If you'd like to download this spreadsheet, you can do so. There's a link in the description and you can download it and play with it um, as you like. Thanks very much.